Hey everyone, in this video I show you how to use Cinema Grade in DaVinci Resolve to color grade your gray flat lock footage like this in just a minute. I'm also going to include two bonus parts that you should not miss out and watch the video until the end. You will save some cash. My name is Mike Leiner and I have a lot of experience in color grading, but I'm not a professional colorist. So that's why I show you this so everyone can do it and you can do it as well. You can do it! Let me show you how you simplify and speed up your color grading workflows so you can focus more on the fun part of filmmaking. In addition to Intel chips, CinemaCrate is also available for M1 chips and now for Windows. You should know a few things before using CinemaCrate in DaVinci Resolve. The OFX architecture in DaVinci Resolve has a limitation you only have access to the grading page. That means the correction and the matching page is unavailable. Also, you can only access one clip in Cinema Grade's timeline, unlike in Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro X, where you can color grade an entire project within the app. However, I will show you a workaround and I hope DaVinci Resolve will allow it in the future. Let's get started. First, setting up DaVinci Resolve and choosing an input LUT. When you have installed Cinema Grade, Open DaVinci Resolve and go to the media page. Then import your flat lock footage. Then create a timeline project with it. If you are new in DaVinci Resolve, check out this color grading settings. Navigate to the project settings through the files or the settings symbol on the right. Then go to the color management and make sure that the color signs in DaVinci is YRGB and the timeline color space is Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. Next, we will return to the timeline and apply the Cinema Create plugin. One option is to go to the editing page via effect, but my advice is to go to the color grading page. Open notes on the right side. In the note panel, create two or three notes. You will see why later. Then highlight the second note, open the effects panel and drag and drop Cinema Create plugin onto your second note. Click then on the right side on Open Control and Cinema Crate will open. In order to accurately display the color of the Sony S-Log footage from the A1, I need to use Color Space Transform. It depends on which camera you are using or which input LUT you have to use. Below I have provided a link to the Sony profile. Go to the first node we created and click the effect panel on the right. Scroll down to the Color Space Transform and drag it into the first node. You need to set it up for the Sony S-Log3 or whatever picture profile you have used. In my case, choose Sony S-Gamma3 Cine as the input color space, Sony S-Log3 as the input gamma and leave the outputs on using timeline as we set it up before in Rec 709. And then go down to the option advanced setting and select apply forward OOTF option. Pooh, that's a lot, but you are set now. You can also download the settings from the link down below. These are the settings for converting your flat lock footage accurately, so you actually don't need to use the page 1 in Cinema Grade. If you liked the video so far, please hit the like button and subscribe to follow more videos in the future. It helps me to continue this YouTube channel. I will show you now how to color correct and color grade using Cinema Grade in DaVinci Resolve. When your first node is created and you implemented the color space, go to the second node and then to the effect panel to open Cinema Grade by clicking the open control button. You can also open the vector scope panel by pressing option command P, which you also will find in the menu bar in view. We are now ready to color correct the footage. Now you can see in the menu that only the grade page is available. With the right arrow, Open the grade panel to adjust the exposure, contrast, white balance, saturation and vectors. The interface is directional, meaning when you use the right panels going from the top part to the bottom part or when you use the top panels, then you go from the left to the right. The best feature in Cinema Grade is the point and click grading. You can now change the spot by clicking it, then slide up or down. It's super easy. When correcting the exposure, saturation or white balance, it's important to check the histogram and the waveform. It shows you the luminosity or simple blacks, shadow, midtones, highlights and whites. What you don't want is that the graph is going to the left side or to the right side. The best is to keep it in the mid range and have the start and the end parts touching a little bit the corners. You can also see which color is very dominant. In this case here, it's blue or green. It shows you also in which area is the color peak or the luminance peak. After you have exposed your footage, 
you can then use the shortcut V to activate vector and then click the area on the footage to drag up and down to adjust the hue. You can also hold command to adjust the luma or hold shift to adjust saturation. After this, you can add some film grain. Let's go to the LUT gallery on the left side. When you click the left arrow and choose LUTs, you can all see your imported LUTs. This is what is really crazy in Cinema Grade because you can see how the LUT will look like on your footage. To apply the LUT, you just need to double click on the LUT. Open then the right panel to go down with the opacity or the strength of the LUT. Let's say 30% is a very good level. You can adjust the mix how much you want to apply the LUT on your footage. Now you can press apply on the right top corner and close cinema grade. Go to the effects panel and press apply as well. This is very important. By the way, I have also a step-by-step in-depth tutorial on the features and how to use cinema grade is also available on my YouTube channel so you can watch it later. Not now, don't do it now, focus on here. How you can import your LUTs in the gallery is also in the other step-by-step -step tutorial. You can now sharpen or denoise your footage in node number 3. In the blur panel, choose the middle one for sharpen and then lower on the left side the radius level to 0.48 or lower. But don't overdo it. For all the other clips, you need to create a power grade before we do the shot matching. Click the gallery icon on the top left corner, then open steel albums and highlight the power grades folder. All you have to do now is go to the screen in the middle Right click and select Grab Still, which will appear on the left side. You can rename it by right clicking and selecting Change Label. Now you think, how are you doing the shot matching if you have only one clip? As you know, DaVinci is not allowing it yet, but the good thing is we created a power grade, which we can easily apply to all the other clips. Then you can go clip by clip to adjust changes by clicking Open Control using Cinema Grade. Before you check out my other videos, I will give you two bonus parts you won't miss out. Also, I provided you a 20% discount for Cinema Crate in the links below. Save some cash. Okay, let's come to the first bonus part. To speed up your color grading workflow even more, learn the shortcuts or download my shortcut spreadsheet or print it out so you will have it always at the front of you which shortcut you can use. Bonus part number two. When you have an iPad and an Apple Pencil, you can color grade with the pencil. I enjoy color grading that way a lot. So how are you gonna do it? Simply connect your iPad with the side card and tick show sidebar. Then move the cinema grade plugin to your iPad. As you have now the sidebar, you can use command, shift and option to access the different vector options such as hue, saturation and luma. Done, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe to follow for more videos in future. And don't forget to share it with your friends so that they also save some time with their color grading. Don't forget to catch up your 20% discount. And also, if you have any future questions, please let me know in the comments down below. Until then, see you in the next video.